Okay, let's do this challenge. We're going to have make the vehicles moving at different speeds, and we're going to set the speeds to between 1 and 10. Set the speed between 1 and 10. So we've got vehicle, and we're dealing with the speed. So we make the vehicles move at different speeds. Set the speed of each vehicle to a number between 1 and 10. So it has to be a number between 1 and 10. So we know here we've got all the different actions and things that the vehicle can do, this pink vehicle. So if we click on that, you'll see it says image, friction, show, angle, and speed. So we're going to choose speed. Click on speed. And we know that if we're going to set it, it'll be between 1 and 10. But if we add, we would go over 10. And that would not be between 1 and 10. So we set to and we've got a setting there. And now we've got to do the same thing with the other vehicles. So we do a dragging <coughs> again. We drag into the coded area. We're dragging back into the coded area. We click on that question mark, and we are going to now choose speed once again. Later on, we'll learn that this is velocity. Speed, click on speed. And again, it's between the numbers one and 10. So we go with one. We'll try and make every single number different. And this one said two. Again, we'll make that one and one. And I'm taking most of this video from a recording of a student working. So you'll see that we've got a double one. Then all three of those ones need to be changed because it said set the speed of each vehicle to a number between one and 10. So we're just going to try and make sure that each one of those speeds are going to be at a different number. So we don't really want to have three of them traveling at the same speed. And later on, we'll get into the random aspect where we change the speeds and the computer will then choose the speeds. So we go to this one, click on it, and we've got this up and down arrow, which we can adjust by like that. And you can see the student is clicking with their, actually entering the number with their keyboard. And you'll see as the code plays, the next challenge indicates that we can move on from that point. And the video here shows that we can watch it if we don't understand, and we can have some idea of what's being done in this challenge. Make it so the vehicles in your motorway will start moving when they are clicked, when they are clicked. So this is a when click event. And on the left hand side, you can already see that little when click, that green oval, when click, there it is. Drag it onto this, the coded section. We drag it there and we place it. And we know that then we're going to choose which vehicle will begin moving on the click event. We're going to just choose on that question mark which vehicle. We could have chosen the, the, the background as well, could indicate some movement, but it says when we click on the vehicles. So we're going to drag the various the vehicle that is going to be moving on that click event and we can already see it's the pink buggy so we're going to bring the pink buggy into that section now, as you can see this learners aha yes and we bring it in and there you can see the pink buggy unfortunately i'm not sure why that movement was back and placing it there there we go so now we've got the pink buggy is moving at a speed of four on the click of the pink buggy. So those fit together. We drag and bring in the next when click, and that was just me showing the student how to do it. So now the student will uh, follow my instructions, and when clicking on the vehicle, the, the vehicle now will move. So we have that the click event of the click buggy and the click vehicle are linked up. And again, not sure why that's been placed there. We need to drag that vehicle code to suit the click event on the vehicle. There we go. So we've got that one right. And we bring in the third when click. And that's going to bring in the two vehicles that are still outstanding. I think it was the lorry and the racing car. So here we have a lot of movement and drag in the racing car, and those two fit together. Racing car traveling at a speed of five. And now we've almost completed. We've just got the lorry, 
and you can see that this student is fully understanding exactly what they're doing. So when swiped, and we'll see what that is, the background or choose something. Now this is mainly for your tablet. When you swipe on it, when you go with your finger like that, then it'll do something. So it's usually for that. The wind swipe event. So when you move your finger right on the tablet, then something will happen. You can test it on your on your tablets afterwards if you want to. Put in some code there. 